and figuring this stuff out you later, know, I guess. The voices in my head are getting louder. And tonight, they're whispering. Yeah. The Welcome to the charge. I'm Sir Franklin, and we're taking to the field today with Forest Ranger Services. I don't know anything about this game, except I know the woods can be very creepy. And if you've ever gone camping, I wonder if you've got some creepy stories, too. So, that being said, it looks like we're a forest ranger. Let's ride. The Forest Ranger Services series are based on real-life events and personal accounts of hikers. Oh, no. The narrative has been altered for entertainment purposes. There are thousands of missing, person or of missing reports filed each year in the U.S. National Parks. Many cases remain out of... Oh, okay. Forest Ranger Ser Services, the pilot. Ah, you're a wannabe aspiring reporter looking for missing hiker cases. It was time to get serious about your career. You applied for a job as a forest ranger, get a first-hand account of the disappearances. This goes fast! Alright. Oh, we're just, like, right into this. I guess we got the job. Do we have feet? Feet check? No. Okay. So, start off. We're, we can move. And we've got a trail. We can run. We can't go that way. Is this... Okay, I guess we go this way. Just look in the... I like it, kind of a VHS feel. And this is already terrifying. I know some people immediately, they're like, it's so peaceful, it's quiet, you get to be by yourself. I I like being around people. I like people. Uh, at least in this situation, I don't think I'd want to be by myself. I think I'd want a couple buddies. That is creepy, too, that these are based on real accounts and real stories. Stick. Can I use that? Nope. Interesting. But, I know it's changed up a little bit, so I'm wondering if this is... Like, how much it gets changed. How creepy and how crazy could this get? So that's a a hog. Interesting. Or pig. Little piggy. Oh good, we're gonna go towards the noise. I am not here for this. If we're a forest ranger, shouldn't we have a tower that we can go to? Or some sort of base? I guess that's a fire watch. Tower. Okay, that is not... That's not normal. Alright, gonna ignore that, I guess. Go into this nice little clearing. Oh! Hello, sir. How are you? Um... Oh! Can I help you? Do I run towards you? Do I touch the, uh... No? Alright, I'm just gonna... What? Hey there, Nightcrawlers. You're locked in with Station 5, where the news takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Oh, that's an awesome name. Have you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks, this isn't something you hear about anymore, but check out these stats. What are the stats, Mike According Stone? According to the latest data from the National Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. What? That's a crazy Death number. Valley, Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, all kinds of reports of missing people. The numbers are massive. That's terrifying. I've got a few examples here. One hiker found after days in the woods couldn't recall basic details about their hike or how they got lost. Yikes. Maybe dehydration. Now, folks, these aren't isolated incidents. Another displayed signs of uh, acute paranoia are uh, claiming they were being watched by unseen uh, entities among the trees. Can I... All right. Can I get out? Okay. 
Very similar setup to another game, uh, Fears to Fathom. One of the Fears to Fathom. Odd, oddly similar. This, with all this fog at night, we don't seem to have a flashlight. E. Are y'all going to kill me? This guy's looking at me off the side of his head. Hello, good sir. Evening. Ooh. What can I get you? What is that voice? Okay, let me adjust my volume. That was right in my ear. Uh, just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. What's that supposed to mean, man, with the voice of God? There's a new guy here just about every other month. That does not make me feel better. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know? You mean creepier than this conversation we're having? I do not believe that. Was that... was that it? Was that our business conducted? That's... that's all we did. <laughs> all right, well, what about this fella? Can we talk? Hello, sir. Oh, now you don't want to look at me? Now you don't want to look now that I'm right here? Right up in your business. What an interesting nose you have. Alright. Is there... Am I getting any food or anything? Or is this just like a... We walked in just to have that weird interaction and then we're walking out? Yeah. Guess we can't do anything else. I like the little diner here. I appreciate the 1950s style leather seats. Uh, you see... You see these at like... What is that restaurant? Johnny Rockets? It's got that... You know, the burgers, milkshakes, pretty solid. All right. I guess that was all we... Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that open in case we need a quick getaway. Fast escape. Did we get fuel? Do we need to? Does the game automatically do it for us? And yeah, I guess we just were getting back in the car. Recent reports from these search and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. They're probably tired and beat up. Disorientation. Yeah. Uh, memory loss. Sure. And in some cases, ha, bizarre behavior uh, that leaves rescuers and medical professionals baffled. But some of these disappearances just don't make any sense. You got experienced hikers, um, forest workers, lumberjacks, and even rangers. Weird. Just about 5% of these missing people are never found. Um, they Wait. just go missing without any trace. No, no, they no. They for these people for weeks, and they find absolutely nothing. Now, that's a... What? Oh, my shoulder. Oh, something watching us from the forest. Cannot see. Okay, are we stuck in a loop? Because that's not great. Okay, so this was the same car as before. The lights look a little different. Where is the gentleman? Whoa, and it changed. Creepy new ranger huh they come and go like the wind whispering pines play tricks you'll find what also i'm noticing how broad your shoulders are sir you look stacked i think you could kick my ass uh i think i'm lost can you help me out with some directions lost a hiker recently vanished in the woods swallowed whole happens more than you'd ever be told uh been here a while seen the faces change Rangers like you, their stories rearrange. Something in these woods, something strange. Why are you talking in rhyme? I mean, it sounds nice, but maybe not at night in this Good luck, atmosphere. Ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. Good, good, good talk. Okay. Appreciate you. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, so this guy doesn't have a voice. Looks like something you're looking for is missing. 
All right. Suitcase with documents about missing people. Creepy. Now do I talk to you? No, that was it. All right. Why is it dark right here? I got, oh, I see. Okay, so the light is out, but still. Guess we can't open that door or anything. I want to see if there's anything else we can interact with before we get on the road, but I don't know if anything's going to change. So do y'all just stare at each other all night? All right. Guess we're going to ignore all of that. Ignore the warning signs. We almost sound like we're a little confused. Dazed. Maybe even dazed and confused. But just getting on the road <laughs> and figuring this stuff out you later, know, I guess. The voices in my head are getting louder. And tonight, they're whispering. <laughs> Buckle up. Buckle up. There's this hiker. When the search and rescue teams finally found him, that was it cheap. was a scene. <laughs> The hiker, when they seen it ragged, had resorted to desperate measures. The evidence of his ordeal was written in the mutilated flesh of his own fingers. What? Shoot and nod in a desperate bid for sustenance. Oh, God. Wow. This sucker just he, he ate his own fingers. I don't know if that's have been out of his mind. funny, my guy. It's your turn now. You will never get out of these woods. All right. Good. Glad to hear that. Feeling cool, calm, and collected. Is that closer now, or is it in the same spot that it was watching me earlier? What is this? I don't want to go in. I really don't want to do this. Weird. Hello. All right. In shadows deep, where trees entwine, a mystery unfolds, a tale malign, through tangled woods, where whispers soar, lost are hikers, seen no more. I like it, but it also sounds like ChatGPT might have had something to do with this. Answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost, where the shadows align. Well, are you gonna pick it up? Oh, there's a phone ringing. I... yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's... right there, sure. Hello? Hello. Who is this? What? What? Was that all a dream? Was that all an intro? Oh, we have a gun. Interesting. Um, anyone there? Oh. Tower six. Do you read me? Over. I read you. So, how was your first night? It was pretty interesting. I had a nightmare. That's my bad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. So that was made up, right? Actually, no. One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Uh, very weird, yeah. Forest Ranger Services. I was walking my dog buddy in the forest one evening. I decided to explore a path. I didn't know much. But he likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about a half an hour or so. Suddenly, I had the surge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. Nope, time to leave. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. Because he's supernatural. If I freak out a little bit and quickly start making my way back home on the same path I got there. I freak out a little bit, sorry. I stop and look around for buddy as I turn around to continue home. Right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Disgusting. I have not been down that path since. What happened to your dog? Did you ever get buddy back?
We'll never know. So that was the pilot. Interesting. All right, well, that's a neat idea. I like that a lot. Granted, I love like the haunted forest. If you guys are ever online and you see um, like scary or haunted Appalachia or something like that, I don't know if you type something like that in, there's a lot of creepy stuff and stories um, from real encounters to creepy pastas and then just weird videos where something's off. Uh, so anyways, if you're interested in that kind of thing, if you look up, I mean, haunted woods, haunted forests, creepy Appalachia moments, I don't know, stuff like that. You're gonna find some pretty interesting stuff. But I wanna know, do you have any scary stories in the woods? If you do, let me know in a comment below. I also wanna thank you for joining The Charge today. If you like what you see and you wanna join The Charge on a regular basis, I do ask that you subscribe and like the video. It means a lot and it helps me out a lot. But that being said, I will see you on the next battlefield. Till then.